What's up everyone and welcome to the RE Visuals YouTube channel where you'll always find high quality visuals and high quality tech. And guys, I thought I had already seen it all when it comes to RGB products, but today I have a boom arm from our good friends over at Tonor that will not only hold up your microphone, but will add some serious gamer swag to your setup. And yes, Tonor sent this over to me for review, so just putting that out there. But the T90 boom arm they sent over has full RGB functionality with multiple lighting modes, can hold up basically every popular microphone out there, and even comes with some really nice cable management channels built into it. But is it worth the $80 that Tonor is asking for it? As we know, RGB isn't everything, so let's put the T90 to the test right after a word from our sponsor. With VIP URCD key, you can install and activate Windows for only 16 bucks. Hey, that's pretty good. It's fast, easy, and 100% legit. You can now enter my new promo code for 2023, RAV25, which will now save you 25% on your purchase. So get rid of that Windows activation watermark and get your system activated today. It also works for Windows 11 as well. Check the links in the description. All right, let's get started with what you get in the box with the T90 RGB boom arm. As always, you get your manual first, so in case you've never installed one of these, you'll be good to go. Next, you get a USB-C to USB-A cable that looks to be fairly long, which is always good for cable management and your setup. You then get the base clamp for the arm, which is one of the first things I was kind of disappointed about. The top of the base looks and feels to be made of just plastic, unfortunately, but hopefully it still holds the arm up as it should and stays sturdy. The bottom portion of the base clamp is actually made of all metal, which is nice to see and has the usual extension so you can store your headphones Phones on it. Tonor does this with all of their boom arms, which is really cool, and it's a great little added bonus every time. The part that clamps to your desk is the usual screw style mount and has a little wing nut that tightens the bolt to your surface. You'll see that the top of the metal bracket is shaped in a way that it will slide into the top of the mount so that the two pieces come together and create the full mounting bracket. Now let's get on to the T90 boom arm itself. At first glance, this thing looks like an absolute unit. With a mix of steel and ABS plastic, it actually feels very solid and comes with some pretty cool looks as well. Tonor went with a mixture of gray and black with some yellow accents on the arm, which I guess may turn some of you guys off, but hey, maybe some of you are into it. You can see along the sides of the arm there are cutouts with pieces of diffusion underneath for the LEDs to shine through, and once you plug in this arm to a power source, you'll definitely start to see it. I'm not sure how I feel about the look, honestly, you guys, and I'm not sure how I feel about them just adding a huge Tonor logo to the main hinge of the arm, as none of us all want to rep a company logo in our setup, but we'll have to see what it looks like once the LEDs are lit up. On the bottom of the arm is Tonor's usual mounting peg that you insert in the base when you want to mount the arm to your desk. On the top part of each section, there's a little lock and unlock icon indicating how to remove the cable management covers on the arm. You simply pull back on the piece of plastic and it pops off, revealing the channel where you can then route your cables to keep them out of sight. Towards the front of the arm, you have the microphone mount, which looks to be very sturdy with plenty of adjustment to get your microphone where you want. And it also comes with the standard 5 8 screw mount. So basically every single microphone out there should be able to go onto this arm. But if you guys don't have that exact screw mount, a lot of different ones come with this adapter so they will fit. Anyway, the arm seems to be constructed pretty well and has some nice features, so let's get it installed on a desk and then mount a microphone to it. Using the two-piece base, you just need to snap the two pieces together and loosen the wing nut to adjust for your desk size. There seems to be plenty of room to fit many sizes of desk, with Tonora stating 2.36 inches of space, but when I actually measured it myself, it looks to be just under three inches, so maybe they just wanted to give a little buffer there to be conservative to make sure that you guys all have enough room to cinch and actually clamp the arm down to the surface that you mount it on. Once you have the clamp cinched down to your desk, you can then take the boom arm itself and insert it into the base where it will freely spin around a full 360 degrees unless you use the small wing nut on it to go ahead and lock it into position. The T90 boom arm has the ability to hold a weight of up to 4.4 pounds and can reach a maximum length of 29.5 inches or 750 millimeters. It can do this in both the horizontal and vertical orientation, so that gives the user plenty of room to work with depending on the setup configuration. Now, plugging in the boom arm is as simple as just popping open the cable management channels that I talked about earlier and plugging in the provided USB-C cable into the bottom portion of the arm. Then you just need to plug in the USB-A end into a USB power port or an adapter or anything like that, and the arm will start to light up. And now we can get to the part that I know you're all really here to see, 
the RGB. Tonor states that the T90 has 11 light modes, but honestly, it's really just five with some different color options. So you have the usual RGB flow mode, the RGB cycle mode, the RGB breathing mode, and an RGB gradient mode. Then additionally, you have seven solid color options that you can choose from to match whatever theme you're going for with your setup. The RGB does actually look really good and I didn't expect it to actually be something I could center using on a setup, but with my secondary setup you're seeing here, it actually has a ton of RGB on it and this arm looks really good. All right, now let's talk about mounting a microphone on the T90. It's actually very simple and I have a couple of different mics to mount on it in this video just to prove to you that a wide array of different microphones will mount to it just fine. All right, so here is the Blue Yeti Blackout that I've had for years with the uh, Knox Gear shock mount that I, that I did a video on forever ago, but this comes with a nice little adapter right here that will adapt to that 5.8 standard adapter that pretty much every one of these boom arms has. So as you guys can see, I'm just gonna go ahead and adjust it real quick. And then all you gotta do is simply put it on top of this little adapter right here. And once you get the thread started, let me see, my threads are not catching because of course, of course, because I'm filming a video. Why would it work right away? There it goes. Okay, and then all you gotta do is just get it threaded and spin it on there and then you got yourself a, uh, what do you call it? You got yourself a microphone on the boom arm right there. So there is the Blue Yeti, works perfectly. Uh, I know this specific microphone does come with a different mount. Uh, so to get this to work, you may have to get a shock mount like this. And of course, I'll link that down in the description for you. And next we went ahead and tested the Rode Pod Mic. All right, and here we go with the Rode Pod Mic. So this thing's a little hefty guy right here. Um, as I already said, and I'm gonna see, this thing should again, just go ahead and clip and spin right on top of this right here. And there you go, you're away, you can see, it holds it up just fine with all the adjustments you want. And like I said, you know, if you guys have seen the Rode Pod, I gotta, I gotta adjust this and tighten it, but um, as you guys, you know, probably know about this mic, it's, it's a hefty little dude, like I said. So this boom arm holds it up, no problem. And uh, yeah, if you wanna go ahead and use a mic like this, It'll be just fine. And finally, I mounted the HyperX Quadcast S, which funny enough, is actually what they advertise in their product pictures with the arm. And I mean, come on, Tonor, you're not fooling anybody by removing the branding and then just putting the words microphone on the microphone. Come on, man. <laughs> All right, and lastly, we got the HyperX Quadcast S right here because this is the one they actually use in their marketing. And uh, this, is, this is the one that I, on the last Tonor boom arm video, like one of my really popular ones, you guys all asked me right after like a million times, does this work with the HyperX Quadcast or Quadcast S? And I'm here to tell you, yes, it does, because this mic ships with a little adapter right here that adapts to 5.8s once again, which I told you most of them all do. So again, you spin it on there, uh, get it nice and tight when you guys are ready for it. We're gonna actually keep it on there all the way because I'm gonna keep it on there for the rest of the video. So there you go. As you can see, this boom arm holds it up no problem. And then once I get it turned on real quick, I'll plug it in and I'll uh, show you guys uh, this combination of a RGB boom arm with an RGB mic like this is actually gonna end up looking really cool. Okay guys, real quick, one thing you may wanna keep in mind when you're trying to use the cable management channels here, let me pop this off one more time. There you go. Um, these, some, some wires may have these little, I think they're little like capacitor limiter type things that go on, you know, certain, certain cables and whatnot. So if you have one of those, just make sure that you, you manage it towards the end of this little piece right here on the boom arm, because then you're able to actually fit it in there just fine. And it does cover it. So you get a nice little cable management, uh, little look right there. So as you clip that back on, as you see, uh, you barely can see it and, it and it actually holds the cable nice and snug. And then you can drape it over top of this little, little part right here and then shut it in the other cable management line down here on the back. And then from there, you just plug your mic into your computer and you're ready to go. Okay, everyone, so there you have it. It's a boom arm, it holds microphones, and it has more RGB than a 12-year-old's Fortnite streaming setup. But do I think that it's worth the $80 they're asking you to spend on it? I would have to say it depends. If you just need a boom arm and you don't care at all what it looks like, you just need something that works and holds your microphone, then you could actually save yourself a bunch of money and even go with Tonor's own super popular boom arms, the T20 and the T30. Now I've reviewed both of those boom arms a long time ago and that video actually is one of the most popular videos on my channel. So apparently you guys really like these boom arms. So given the fact that the T20 and T30 are half the price of the T90 that I'm showing you today, you really have to ask yourself if looks 
really matter that much to you. Despite that though, I personally think the arm looks really cool, and if you're into the RGB theme, this would be a great addition to your setup, given you have the money to purchase it. And as always, if you do wanna grab one of these for yourself, I'll have a link down in the description for you so you can go check it out and get one for your setup. But that's really all there is for this one. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this boom arm and if you would have this as a piece in your setup or if you just think it's a bunch of RGB garbage. I don't care what it is. Just let me know what you guys think and we'll start a conversation about it. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. You guys have an awesome day and I'll catch you in the next video.